No lo perdón, Antonio. Ah, Billy, you know, today is a holiday. And it was not a matter of holiday worldwide. It's, it's a, what they call a regional holiday. Well, you know, that became, I, I come from the States, you know, it's, it's a thing called Columbus Day. And, you know, I, I want you to notice my shirt here, I got a new kind of shirt. You know, undershirt, I got my regular t shirt with my little African thing on there, including Madagascar. I hate when they draw Africa and leave Madagascar out. Anyway, this is this is a shirt from the United States Coast Guard. That's in the, for the Coast Guard. And this Columbus Day, I was thinking about the Coast Guard. It's a nice shirt. I like this shirt. Snap this back up to be things like that. Snap that just snaps up like that. See, one, see, Coast Guard is supposed to guard the coast of the, well, in the, sense of the United States of, of North America. That's to keep people out. Not to think of Columbus Day. Too bad that what we call the autochthonous people, I know y'all say the indigenous people, the Indians or whatever have you, or the people that were on the land before this, uh, these ships, the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria, you know, full, you know, this cat from Italy that was commissioned by Spain and had, a, actually, you know, when, the, when those ships, they actually had a bunch of, of uh, let's call them non-white people on those ships because you know, Columbus got a lot of his, he knew where he was going, he knew where he knew where he was it that way. But see, a lot of people from that, that Northern African area, they were coming, you know, they had trade routes a long time, so Columbus, he, he wasn't lost, but there was a lot of non-white people on those ships too. So when they landed there and they saw the, 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 the natives there, I was thinking back there, they called them natives. You know, those are what I call autochthonous people that were of that land for a while. Well, they should have had a Coast Guard. I said, hey, where's your papers? Well, what you doing there? Let's test you for some diseases now. Had they done that, whew, been a whole different thing. But now, you know, when, 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 the, um, when, the, like, like I said, when the white folks come, then they set up a Coast Guard. But keep things out, you know. Plants, animals, you no know, more of that stuff, you know. Meanwhile, those people that were originally there, they didn't have the Coast Guard, they're wiped out because of the disease and stuff like that came and wiped them out. Plus, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that whole thing, what, what Columbus started. You see, what really happened was when those cats got there, you know, back then, you know, you know, what, 1492, you know, basically the 15th century, whatever it is. Well, they realized, you know, when he had to repair a ship, it took a while. It wasn't just a matter of a couple of weeks, you know, and your jiffy lube or something like that. You know, it might be like months in your jiffy lube, you know, like that. And so a lot of these folks, you know, they were messing around with the natives, so-called natives, the toxinous people. And when I say messing around, you know, the men, they always see all the rest of their stuff because they find all these people are nice and pleasant and they're happy and whatever have you, and they're, they're what we call people, well, they're timid, you know, there's a lot of stuff written about them. So they just, you know, hey, have sex, whatever's happened. Nine months later, the kid comes out. Then they realize this is, and this is the thing that I got from Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, ISIS paper theory. It is, but it makes sense, think about it. So they are there, nine months later, you know, a baby pops out. They're still there repairing the ships. They say, hey, I got a baby. Wait a second, the baby's like nine weight. <laughs> but yeah, no, wait. Then, then, then they start. They don't start thinking. But you know, a lot of people running around the world. All these people from the from those those white countries. They say white. I don't say. They're just just supposed to be beings. You know, beings looking for their humanity. Anyway, they're running around. They, they place they go and say, Hey, there's a lot of non-white people around here. And every time we deal with these non-white people, if we have a baby, the baby's like non-white. So they get, I think they start scratching their head because they start get, hey, you know something? And we don't do something quick. And we keep having these babies with these non-white people pretty soon because, you know, the, the, the non-white people, their genes are dominant over the white genes, which are called recessive. That's scientific. I know that's scientific. I got that like grade school. No, actually, junior high school. Here's the thing. Pretty soon, there ain't going to be no more white folk. Hey, think about this, Brother Belly. No more white folk, no more problems. They say like, hey, we got to make sure we get problems here, so we got to make sure that we can keep on getting rid of these non-white folks as much as possible and making more white folks. And 
So here we are today, celebrating uh, the beginning of the demise of non-white people called Columbus Day. Because that's when they first start thinking about this and because they're traveling around the world. They sit in the super. Well, that's my, that's my opinion. Actually, it's one of those dispatches from the Austrian director, Demaris, that that would be me, T for the Pattinson's taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I always suspect.